Hi, Nathan Tannenbaum with just some of the stories coming from the Las Vegas Review Journal in print and online. The University and Community College Regents met Thursday to talk about that 12.5% budget cut that state legislative leaders agreed on earlier in the week. The Review Journal's Richard Lake reports that Vice Chancellor Dan Claych announced the formation of what he called a SWAT team to figure out where to make the spending cuts. While the idea of a tuition hike was expected to come up, no action was taken. Check out the full story in print and online. As tough as it may be for state lawmakers to figure out where money for the next two years is going to come from and which, if any, taxes may be raised, well, it's also tough getting that information to keep you informed. You'll know what we know when we know it, both in print and either through our online breaking news or our regular web news presence. Metro Police Thursday arrested a 27-year-old Las Vegas man in connection with the death of 27-year-old Brad Flam, whose body was found Monday amongst the bushes near Caesars Palace loading docks Monday. Brian Hall's been charged with murder and robbery. There's more to the story as the Review Journal seeks out both the victim and the suspect's families in this case. Summertime often means summer jobs for teenagers between school years, but Review Journal business writer Jennifer Robison discovered it's tough going for youngsters looking for work in the 2009 economy. Read what she found out in what's being called the toughest teen job market since World War II. Following Wednesday's announcement that the Integrity car dealership shutting down at the end of the month on the Valley Southwest side comes word from Chrysler headquarters that hundreds of dealer franchises across the country are being polled. That affects three other dealerships here. Check the story for the varying impact this may or may not have as some of the car stores in Las Vegas have already been retailing other makes. It's become a well-known fundraiser and prestigious gig for whoever is booked. Talking about the cover of this Friday's Neon with no doubt headlining Tiger Jam 12 at Mandalay Bay Saturday night. Of course, Neon's got your complete weekend guide, including movies, other concerts and shows, and a comprehensive restaurant guide as well. So, what would you do for the 50th birthday of the famous Welcome to Las Vegas sign? You know, it's probably had millions of photos taken in front of it, including these fun ones from the snowstorm back in December. It's looking pretty nice now that we're in triple-digit territory, but I digress. Somebody, somewhere, decided the right way to honor Betty Willis's world-famous neon contribution to our fame was to have a parade of 300 bikini-clad women. Today we are going in the Guinness Book of World Records as having the largest bikini parade ever. We have over 300 girls here in bikinis. They're all looking great, and it's going to be a fun day. Leading the parade, who else? Holly Madison. And we'll have more, I'm not sure exactly how much more, but videographer Jason Bean drew the short straw in making the uh, standalone video that's going to play in full next on our multimedia page. And surprise, surprise, Oscar Goodman just happened to make it to the event as well. Okay, so we move on to the actual weather, but before we get there, I want to show you something cool from the National Weather Service office here in Las Vegas. You know, it's been hard to escape the forecast of triple digits for the weekend, but my buddies down there put together a sort of an online PowerPoint presentation. Got a quick clip. This is meteorologist Andrew Gorla with the National Weather Service in Las Vegas with an online weather briefing for the potential of dangerously high temperatures expected to affect the region this weekend. Check the whole video out for yourself at the top of the local weather service website that's www.weather.gov slash Las Vegas that's all one word on Las Vegas well we are still going for the century mark Saturday with that potential record high of 104 on Sunday beating the current May 17th record high of 102 by the way those numbers under the forecast those are the current record high temperatures for each of the next four days as always for breaking news 24 7 you're at the right spot reviewjournal.com